We set up the Islamic Fashion and Design Council over four years ago and uh, it was really an interesting journey that I was on personally. I founded it because I felt that I was getting more and more intrigued by the um, incredible demand that I personally had for modest fashion in a stylish way and I thought okay let me look into this a little bit further and see maybe if, if there is a reason for me to start a collection, a line. Uh, so really uh, my mind was sort of going into several different areas and it wasn't necessarily just about setting up a council but when I did my due diligence I realized there is indeed no council, no support. You could hardly even go to any local chamber of commerce to ask for support in this particular specialized area. So, um, so that's when the journey began. Uh, the reason it's seen as an Islamic, uh, predominantly Islamic market uh, or a market space is because uh, it generally, uh, genuinely is led by the growing Muslim population globally. So that is the primary um, consumer and where the primary demand is coming from. Uh, if you look at this, this space, just by that consumer group, you've got more than 65% than 30 and under. So they are the ones that are building that demand um, because they want to live large but not compromise on their modest parameters or guidelines that they would like to live by as per their faith-based principles. However, there's a very strong secondary market that, uh, that never should get overlooked and it doesn't. A, a lot of a modest fashion has been around from the beginning of time, I think since the time that Adam and Eve were told to cover that probably was the beginning of, <laughs> of that journey. So, so it's, it's not like it's a new movement. Uh, it's been around uh, you know, since the beginning and it's going to be around till the end only because it, this is a faith-based um, you know, sort of lifestyle so uh, they first and foremost make this commitment for a higher purpose and that usually ends up being a lifelong purpose so they're committed so if, if, but the good news for the brands is if you can win this consumer over you'll probably have a client for life. This coming year you're going to see a lot of excitement. We've got our IFDC fund that we're launching. It's